All right, everybody, welcome back to Final Cut Fridays. That's right, it's Will from the Think Different Podcast back here again, the former Apple creative beta tester for Final Cut. We appreciate everyone coming back and looking at these videos every Friday. If you are joining us for the first time, we already have three other episodes that we are doing already. Go check those out. Might help you out to understand this video. The last thing we discussed was this toolbar right here, but we talked about a section in here for the search, which has this little button right here, and it's called a filter. And we're gonna talk about the filter using smart collections and keywords. In Final Cut Pro, you already have smart collections right up here. So in the library file on the very top, it says smart collections, and it already breaks down these smart collections. Now, if I double click on these, it tells you what they are. So they're already giving you an option for some item. So if you want to just look at all the projects inside of here, they're in a section. If you want to look at all your pictures in here, there's a section. If you want to go just see the audio, there's a section. And then of course video. These are already pre-made for the entire library. Now we will discuss in the next episode the difference between a library, a event, a keyword, breaking it down. Right now we're going to focus on this event. I already made a keyword, which I explained in the last video, which is a basically a way to organize your footage, and the keyword is how you organize it. So we're going to start off with doing keywords, and then we're going to go into smart collections. So first, we have to select more items for the Sweet 16 Girl. So I'm going to go through my footage. Here is a clip. I'm going to highlight the entire clip because I want the whole clip to be a keyword. And I'm just going to take it and drag it right to the one that already exists, and I'm going to let go. And it puts it, and you see a blue line that shows up. The blue line represents that there is a keyword assigned to this item. I'm going to do it again. So we're going to go to another clip, just find the girl. We're just going to drag and drop right here, and boom, it now creates a keyword. But there's another way to do it too. So here's another part of her. I'm going to click it, and I'm going to use Command K. Command K brings up this section where you can actually write a keyword in. Now, even though we already have Sweet 16 Girl, I'm still going to write it in, but as you can see, it auto is filling out the field. So all I have to do is hit return, and it'll do the same thing. So of course, this is Apple. You can do more than one thing to get the same result. But let's make a new keyword. So we're going to go to here, and we're going to label this parent shot since the parents are in this photo. So I'm going to do Command K, and then I'm going to do Parent Shots. And I'm going to hit Return. And now we have a keyword right here. Everything is in alphabetic order, by the way, if you notice it. So everything is in order based on the alphabet. That's pretty obvious. Uh, and then we'll do one more one, and then I'll call this one, uh, we'll say venue, since it's doing venue shots. And there you go. And then you can keep adding on. And the idea of this is that you can now, if you just need to see the venue shots, you click here. If you need to see just the Sweet 16 Girl, you can do it here. If you just need to see the parent shots. So you can really break down your video by adding keywords. Of course, you can add more than one keyword. So if you wanted to do that as well, you could. Uh, so if I go back and in uh, let's go to let's go to this uh, parent shot right here. Maybe I'll do both. So this one I'll say it's the Sweet Sixteen Girl, and it's parent shot. So that clip will appear two different times, and you'll be the idea of that of what why you would want to do that. You really have to just if you don't organize your footage before you do anything, this will hurt you. So this is an example of how I break down doing weddings and I do my Sweet Sixteens is I'm able to shorten the amount of clips I have to look at. Now we're going to break down the smart collection. So I have two different cameras I shot here. So I have footage from my iPhone, which again takes amazing video. Don't underestimate it. Uh, and then I have the footage from my main camera. Yep, that's a robot right there. I want to organize this based on the type of footage that it is. So one way I could do that is that all the text names in my one piece of video here has an A7S on it, where IMG is what's labeled under the iPhone. So I'm going to organize my clips based on what camera I used. And I already have some information here that will already 
tell me the difference. And this is data that's already there. So I don't have to make a whole keyword collection for this. It would be a lot of time wasting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and tell you another way you can do this. So I am actually going to go to the search that we did before, hit this button, and it says all text includes, and I'm just going to type the word A7S. And you can see it filtered that out, and now we don't see the IMG in here at all. That's a great way to differentiate your footage. There are other ways, but this is the easiest. And then I'm going to make a new smart collection, and then you'll see in the sidebar, there's an untitled there, and I'm going to call it Sony Camera. There we go. So you can see the icon looks different than the keyword. You can see that the icon looks identical like the ones up here. We're going to do that one more time. So we're going to go to this button right here, and then I'm going to say IMG. Now, if you notice, nothing happened. Well, I'm going to tell you why. I'm inside the Sony field. That was my fault. See, I love doing mistakes, too. So because I'm selected in this section, it's not finding it. So that's my fault. So I have to go back to Sweet 16, and now you can see everything. So that's a, my mistake. So it's a good thing to see mistakes, too, that I even I make. And then I'll call it iPhone. So now I have separated these two items. So there's my iPhone footage, and here's my Sony footage. Because you may want to make different videos based on some of the footage you got. Like I usually make videos just of the iPhone footage, and I use it iMovie actually on the iPhone to create it. But I also have the main footage, uh, which is right here. So that is how you do keywords and smart collections. Now you can also go to File, New, and you can do it there as well. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. I find the easiest way is just clicking right up here and then just going through it. Or with keywords, you can just select the items that you want, and like here are the ones, I'll put them under Venue, and now Venue has two pieces of iPhone footage and this one. So I hope that breaks down a little bit about how smart collections work and how keywords work. There is a lot deeper examples you can go into regarding that, but I wanted to get just the basics of how to organize your footage. Thank you guys very much, and the next thing we're gonna talk about is how to organize the sidebar, because as you can see, this could get quite long of, of a lot of things. In fact, I'm gonna organize this ahead of time, and then we'll talk about how we can organize this a little bit better. Thank you guys. Please subscribe to our channel. We really do appreciate all the feedback you give us.